It's your boy Jerome Parker, aka Master Shake, and today on this Tech Talk, October 30th, 2018, we're going to be speaking about how to market and advertise your newly developed app with little to no budget. Now, this is something that a lot of tech entrepreneurs have reached out to me um, <clears throat> in various channels, and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. So, if basically, if you have little to no money to advertise, first of all, I want you to know there's only a plateau of how far you can grow organically. Um, at some point, if you want to compete, if you want to go to that next level, you're going to have to spend money on advertising. So I don't want you to think that these tips that I'm giving you are going to be able to last you the en entirety of the lifespan of your startup or of your app, because it won't. If you want to go to that next level, eventually you're going to have to spread, spend some money. You're going to have to break off some bread. Uh, because by yourself, you can't... Yeah, it, it, there's too many people. It's too saturated. The, the world's too saturated. But I digress. Now, this stuff, what I'm going to tell you, it can be used to gain an audience so that you can start making money and then reinvesting that money into marketing so that you can make more money. But that being said, if you have um, if you have little or no money and you're a developer, you, you know you're you're the one man one woman army or a small group of developers. You built this you built this app and it's in production. You're ready to market. What you need to be doing is basically using all of the APIs from the various social media outlets and even stuff like Reddit and 4chan and stuff like that. And you want to be automating. Um, content whether it's aggregated content whether it's uh you know ai curated content what have you but it also at the same time should not be 100 percent automated you should still uh 100 percent ran automated rather so you can have the automation running 24 seven, but you should also have a human at some point, you know, points, different points in the day that are also interacting. Cause what you need to do is you need to build an audience. You need to interact. You need to join and jump into conversations and you need to get people interested in you and your brand. Okay. Because if people are not interested, then why will they download or use your app? So that's the, I mean, that's the number one thing. Now, this goes for if you are a developer or if you are a uh, just, you know, strictly business guy, you, you paid and outsourced your app or, you know, what have you. Um, you're going to have to do relationship building, especially because this is basically what you're paying marketing people for, right? Whether you're doing online ads with Twitter or, or Facebook or Google or, you know, you're paying some ad agency. You're basically paying them for their contacts, okay? Their contacts are, they did all the relationship building so that you can get, they can get the impressions um, in front of people so that, the, so that the people that they know see your content. The only other way to do that is to build that audience yourself. And I don't advise doing things like um, buying email lists or buying followers because that's not you're not going to get a good ROI on that. Okay, the vast majority of people are not going to be in your niche. They're not going to care about what you have to say, really. And if they do, it's not going to be consistent. You want to have people who are consistently interested in what your brand is doing. The second thing um, that you can do if you have little to no uh, money for ad, you know, for marketing, if your app offers, um, you know, something like in-app purchases or a subscription model, yada, 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 you need to bite the bullet and you need to be giving stuff away for free for a while. Uh, so you can build, so you can, you know, get customers who are going to be loyal. Because the first hundred people who use your app, those are going to be your ride or dies, right? The first 100 people who use your app are the ones uh, who consistently use your app. 
are the ones who are going to be there through good times or bad. They were there from, since day one, essentially. So you there, there's no there, the ROI on those people if you give them like a free membership, right? Let's say let's say you give them a free lifetime membership to the first 100 people. You might and you might be like, oh man, I'm charging ninety nine dollars a year for that. So you know, it's basically like a hundred times a hundred. I'm using I'm uh, losing ten thousand dollars a year. Oh my bad, ten thousand dollars a month. Uh, and I'm like, yes, it's like $120,000 a year you're losing, but you're not really, but that's, that's right. You're losing that right now money. But here's the thing. Those 100 people, they're going to love it so much. I mean, if your app is, if it's providing the content and it's providing the value that it's supposed to, those 100 people will get you at least five people within their inner circle who are willing to pay that five that uh, ninety nine dollars a year service? Let's say a year or a month. I meant to say um, a month, but you know whatever I said, they're gonna get so from that one hundred each. You know, you can easily turn that to five hundred. So let's say ten thousand dollars a month. Yeah, nine hundred dollars a month. So now you went from Oh, I only had I lost. I was basically losing losing ten thousand dollars a month because I gave away a hundred free memberships. To now, I'm making fifty thousand um, dollars a month because of referrals. Same thing if you have a game, okay. The first, uh, it, you know, you do stuff like weapon packs or skins, stuff like that. The first 100 people who join your game and sign up and they do things like they share on their social media with hashtag, you know, hashtag whatever your game is called, then they will receive a, a free skin of their choice and it doesn't expire. Why, why make it so it doesn't expire? Because I know a lot of gamers, you know, when games first come out or when they're new, they're not going to spend money to get the skins yet because they know, you know, three months from now, there's going to be some skins that are way doper than the ones that came out on day one, right? So they're going to, they're still going to keep playing. They're still going to keep checking, but they're going to hold on to it. Um, and that anticipation if you know of new content coming and they're like, "Ooh, I got this freebie I can hold on to for whatever, however long," makes them play it more. You're getting more value out of your customer, and they're getting more value out of your product. Let's see. So outside of you know writing your own applications, outside of doing free you know promos, uh, word of mouth. Word of mouth is. I think the most underrated marketing tactic and the most uh, overlooked marketing tactic, okay? If you can't get your neighbors to be interested in your app, if you can't get the people who live around you and who know you the most to use, use your application, then why do you think that people who are strangers to you would want to use your application? If you cannot market to the to the people local to you, you cannot market to the people global to you. Does that make sense? Um, speak to family and friends. A lot of people just overlook this because they feel like, you know, oh, I don't want to spam. I don't, you know, oh, they don't care about it. You'd be surprised. Just send out messages. Send out texts. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up in a few weeks, you know, at the Thanksgiving table, show your family and friends. They're going to support you. And um, like I said, that word of mouth, they, you know, you show it to your aunt, your aunt ends up going to work. It's like, hey, my, ne uh, my nephew wrote this. You should check this out, uh, Betty. And Betty's like, oh, yeah, this is cool. And then Betty shows Martha. And next thing you know, the whole office at your aunt Janet's work is 
using your app and paying and you're getting paid. Um, and this is really, really important if you live in a small town, okay? If you live in a small town, those are usually a more tight-knit communities. And, you know, you can get a lot of uh, support within your town, which will be used as a good... Um, and there's a couple things, right? What, if, if as the app like needs updates, you need feedback, not only can you get your feedback on the app store and stuff like that, but people in your own communities walk up to you and be like, hey... Um, your app's crashing right here. Can you fix it? Or, hey, I got this idea. Let me show you. Um, that 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 sense of uh, locality that makes the people trust in your app even more. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I guess it's psychology. I don't know. But uh, let me see. Word of mouth. Application building. Free promotional giveaways. Well, I kind of already spoke on, on that when I was talking about engage, engagement. I was going to say email list. Uh, you know, email is still the number one um, marketing tool that's used, whether you want to believe it or not. So while you're building your application, you should definitely be um, curating um, emails. You want to be gathering emails. You want to be sending out professional looking uh, emails out, you know, if, if it, whether it's in the form of, let's say you're building the app, you know, you updates on development. Uh, once the app is done, you know, um, feature enhancements. Uh, if you have a blog, blogging. Blogging is a very, is another good way um to promote your app. You know, you have stuff like Medium now. Anybody can go on, on Medium and blog. Uh you got stuff like WordPress. You have uh stuff like Tumblr. All these all these platforms that allow the written word to get out. And um you know, let's stick with Medium. You write you know if you're if your writing skills are are good enough and you write a very um, um, engaging article about your app and that goes viral that might be all you need to jump start your um, fan base to a point of sustainable income we live in this age of virality and um, I don't even know if that's a word but I'm going to use it you know going viral can make or break a startup if it's good, it can make it. If it's bad, it can break it. That's really all I got. So let's go over it again. We got AP, we got uh, programmatic, the programmatic marketing. You're going to be using API kits for social media outlets and automating stuff like uh, liking posts, creating posts, uh, messaging people, following people. Um, the second way, promotional giveaways. Um, the first 100 people to download your app get X, uh, whatever X may be. The third way is um, old school word of mouth slash email marketing, which is basically digital word of mouth. Um, going, you know, speaking to your neighbors, speaking to people in your community, getting them engaged and interested in your application and getting them to support you before you try to reach a global market. And then the last one is um, uh, blogging. Using platforms such as medium.com, Tumblr, and the like to put out articles, put out your own PR releases of your application. And um, like I said, if it's if it's done well enough, then it could possibly go viral. And blogging also includes vlogging, so you know, doing video presentations on YouTube and this and the like. But that is basically it. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube page, 
If you have any comments, please leave them below. I will try to respond to all of them. And I, I tend to do my follow-up videos based on the comments. So if there's anything you want me to touch on, I will definitely speak on it. Um, if not this Thursday, then I'll try to get to them next Tuesday. So once again, guys, thank you. Please uh, share this video. Please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.